Welcome back, Seth Blink here. Today I want to show you a new data pack that I made for Minecraft, and this is of course chess. This actually has a full rules engine, and you can play real games of chess with all the rules. Uh, so let me show you how to use it. So first of all, if you don't already have this menu up, type slash reload and you'll get a menu, and you can either join Team White, join Team Black, or start game with this menu in the bottom left. So I'll join Team White, which is the first team to move, and I'll click start game. Now it's White's turn to move. So every move, every piece that has valid moves uh, is now highlighted or outlined. And if I sort of hover over that piece of square, that square will turn green. You'll notice that since like the king is pinned in, uh, it doesn't have any valid moves. And if I hover over it, square it doesn't do anything. Let's do the classic opening moon move pawn to king four. By the way, I have no chess strategy knowledge at all. So uh, I actually had to do quite a bit of reading to implement the rules engine. So uh, the pawn has a valid move. Now I'm gonna move for team black. I have a special debug mode set up that lets me play for both teams. Normally you wouldn't be able to make a move for a team that you're not on. So uh, here's this knight, which is a spider jockey. He'll move over here. Um, so now I can uh, move, the, the queen is no longer pinned, so I can move the queen out. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, so make some more moves. Now if I select the queen, it's got a lot of different options for where I can move and if I highlight, you know, highlight any of those squares it'll show up. Um, let's go ahead and have the queen move over here. Now this puts black in check and you can see that in the text. There was also a little thing that popped up in the middle of the screen. So black is in check and that means that the queen is threatening the black king. So you'll notice that the pawns no longer are highlighted for, for black because they can't move. You're not allowed to make a move that leaves your king in check or would put your king in check. So the only valid moves are basically from one of these three pieces to take the queen. So uh, if I select the queen, you'll notice, well, that's her only move, even though normally she'd be able to move diagonally. Same for the king. The only valid move is to take the queen because otherwise the king will be left in check. So this was the part that was very hard to get right, making sure that uh, you couldn't make a move that will put your king into check. Um, let's see, what are some other cool things? So let's, let's go ahead and move out the, the pawn. Um, I can go ahead and take that pawn. I'm gonna move the bishop out. I'm gonna try and get myself into a position where I can castle. So let's move the, the bishop out. Um, oh, here, uh, let's see, I can move the knight over here. So, okay, so this is a move called en passant, which is a really kind of esoteric chess move. If a pawn moves kind of forward two, which is only allowed to do when it's on its initial row. But if it moves forward two past where another pawn would be able to capture it, that pawn is able to capture the pawn that moved two. So this is en passant, I implemented that. Let's have the knight come in and capture here. Um, let's move the queen, uh, I don't know. Let's move the queen here. So now I can show you castling because, so castling is a move you can do when your king hasn't moved yet this game, when your rook hasn't moved yet this game, and there's only clear space between the king and the rook. What happens is the king moves over two. Uh, you'll notice the king can't move here because I would put it into check from the queen. The king moves over two and then the rook moves on the other side of it. So they kind of swap positions and yeah. So there's castling, uh, the queen can you know come in here and Move in now the only valid move. Oh, actually the bishop could take the queen So the, the king can either move out of the way take the queen or the bishop can take the queen Yeah, so <laughs> it is a full rules engine Let me show you a couple other special cases that work hard to make sure they worked So for instance if the black pawn moves here and puts the king in check Not only does the king have a valid move of trying to move away but the pawn also has a valid move of taking the other pawn and no longer having the king be in check so similarly, if the queen moves here, it'll put the king in check. Um, normally, the king would have to move out of the way, but it can also move over here and, leave, and get the rook to get, go in the way of the queen, and that'll block off the queen's attack. Um, let's see, I've also, let's go ahead and move this guy out. I've also implemented promotion, so if a pawn gets to the other end of the board, uh, you can promote it to a queen, a rook, a knight, or a bishop. Usually the choice is queen, uh, which will of course put black in check. So now the king here for black uh, needs to either take the queen or move out of the way. Let's see if I can't put the the uh, king into checkmate. Let's see. 
I'm not, <laughs> again, I'm not super good at this. Uh, let's try, I just, I just need to like, uh, let's get all the like important good black pieces out of the way. Um, and I need to make sure that the king is being threatened from a lot. So black is in check. Interesting. So the king actually doesn't have a re have a valid move right now because these four spaces are being cut off by the queens as well, as well as this one. And then this one's cut off by the bishop. So the only valid moves are highlighted. They're the bishop moving here to block this bishop. Interesting. Or this queen moving here to take this bishop. So let's do this bishop moves here to block this bishop. Um, let's have the knight come in here, take the pawn. Uh, let's have, let's see, can I get the this bishop out of the way? No, I just want to, <laughs> I'm not very good at this game and I need to for, force a checkmate. Let's see, let's, uh, let's move this here. Uh, so this knight, I need this knight to be like threatening the king or something, I think. Uh, bishop. Okay, the bishop. Oh, the bishop can't move out of the way because then that would uh, leave this bishop checking the king. Uh, let's just let's just do a, a dummy move over here. Um, let's. Okay, so now that the king will be in check, and that's it. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure that was going to be checkmate, but I thought it might be. So so now. Uh, the king is blocked off here, those two squares by this queen, these two squares by this queen. Uh, this queen is also blocking off, well, both queens are blocking off these two squares. This bishop can't move to take the bishop or anything. Like, he can't do anything useful. The knight is threatening the king. Uh, nobody can take the knight or the two queens. So, <laughs> that's checkmate, and the game's over. Yeah, so... Like I said, I, I, I'm, I, I don't actually play chess. I had to do a lot of reading to learn all the rules to actually implement all this stuff. But uh, it should all work correctly and and not allow you to make moves you're not allowed to make. Uh, I didn't implement things like the three repeated position rules. So that's a that's like a, a draw rule or a tie, uh, where if you have the same board position three times and the same player is moving in those board positions three times, uh, then the game is a draw. There's some other types of draws that I didn't implement. I also don't have any sort of clock, so unclocked games, but it does work and I think it looks pretty good. I think I like my choices for the different, uh, for the different type, the pieces, the bishops are, are you know, like kind of look like uh, religious figures, queen polar bear, blaze king, and, and the iron golem is very regal as well. Anyway. If you want to download it and try it for yourself, there is a link in the video description to this world and you just pop it on a server and uh, join, join Team White, join Team Black, make sure there's somebody on each team and click Start Game and you'll be good to go. Hope you enjoyed. That's about it. Thanks for watching.